What is up guys? I'm your real Soto and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a product slider. Now if you're wondering how I made this um website here, I do have a video on this or I will have one coming out very soon. So you can go ahead and learn how to make an how to make an e-commerce website just like this. Um so let's say you have a website already and you do want to add a um product slider so first thing you're gonna to need to do is go into your plugins and then click on plugins there and then go into add new and you're gonna to want to install a plugin you just want you honestly you're just going to, you're actually gonna to want to search for um, let's see Elementor I would search up for Elementor Elementor product product slider and if you scroll down you're gonna find this plugin right here woo lenter or woo lentar however you want to pronounce this um, and just install this and activate it okay and here's just going to tell you the free uh, the features that you have for free, not really uh, not really important. Um, I'm just going to move this to this side. So uh, you're going to go into um, one of your pages using Elementor. So for this example, I'm going to use my home page. Let's just let that load here. And if you are wondering how I made this um, e-commerce header, I do have a video on that as well. So you can find that on my channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace this um, product, I guess a uh, product um, box here. So let's go ahead and remove this because this is where we're going to be placing our slider. So let's go ahead and scroll down or you can search for products, but I'm going to go ahead and actually search I'm going to go ahead and sorry, I'm going to go ahead and actually scroll down. You know what? Never mind. Let's go ahead and actually just type in products. I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, so like I said, I could be wrong. So we're going to have to go ahead and look for it because I kind of did forget what it's called here. And I think it's going to be. Um, I believe it is this one right here. So let's go ahead and grab that in. And you know what? It is not that one. I'm sorry. Um, let me scroll down here. I just kind of forgot what it's called here. Um, here it is. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it's called the uh, WL Universal Product Layout. Um, so let's grab this and let's put it in here. There we go. Okay. Now, as you can tell off the bat, I don't really have to style this because this already goes with my website and it honestly looks really cool. The only issue is that it's not a slider, right? So on the layout, we're going to want to uh, switch this to a slider. And as you can tell, still, we don't have um, any arrows. Well, that's because our limit is only three but let's say if we have a limit to 100 or 10 um, now as you can tell it's a slider and let's go ahead and adjust these buttons here because these are very important usually you have an add to cart button down here but I actually do like it how they have it over here so I'm gonna go into layout um, actually I'm gonna go sorry I'm gonna go into content settings and I'm going to go into style so you can have different styles if you wanted to as well it would be in the actions button let's see style 2 yeah so this is what I actually wanted to show you guys this is really cool right this is way more noticeable what is style 3 I haven't noticed that okay so this is even this is really cool too as well if you wanted to have that but I like more the clean box type of look um, so you can do just an image slider if you wanted to that was that would be if it was a gallery box but let's do single image 
Um, let's look at these styles here because I haven't gone through a lot of these styles, but I'm sure you guys can also do that on your own as well. All right, so let's just have this at style one and let's go ahead and save this and let's see how it looks like on our website. And let's scroll down and here it is. As you can tell, it's really, really nice. I'm going to add this to my cart here. As you can tell, it was added here. Here's my here's my cart. Let me go back here. This is actually a really nice e-commerce um, website. So if you guys do want to learn how to make this uh, website, feel free to um, watch watch. Uh, just find the video on my channel. It should be fairly recent if I haven't uploaded it already. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just really liking how this looks, to be honest. Let's just see how this looks like on mobile. Maybe we gotta make this mobile responsive. Well, never mind. It's already mobile responsive. It does. The issue is that when now you're on tablet, it does kind of block off the image. Um, but let's see how it looks like. Okay, it does kind of do it as well on um on mobile. But if you do have that issue. You can just go into the button settings and just go back to style one and look at that. So that will just fix the issue there. So, and I mean, most users do look at the website on um, mobile as well. So it's not that much of an issue. What if I want to, let's see if I wanted to do, I wanted to see if I could do, hmm, let's see, slider options that we do. There we go wanted to have actually more more products shown per slider now you can you can probably even bump it up to five you can probably damn wow you can really bump it up okay but that kind of does not look nice at all I would bump it up to about I think four is probably the most that I would do is four is perfect to be quite honest with you um, I'm probably gonna use this on my website as well because um I've used it on a few but I'm gonna probably keep using this because just looks really nice um, but yeah, I hope you guys did like this video. Um, if you guys did like it, make sure to uh, like the video and subscribe so then you guys can um, keep up to date with the next videos that I do upload. As I am going to be uploading some videos that are hopefully very helpful to you because um, most of my videos, these are just like, most of my videos are, are just done thinking about what I've encountered in the past, what issues I've had. And one of the issues I've had is finding a good product slider or making a good header right and I'm just trying to really help you guys out and um, just kind of doing things that I think that you guys might be struggling with because those are things that I actually did struggle with when I was first starting out as well um, but if you are if you do need some help with um, anything just feel free to reach out to me um, and I'll try to help you guys out okay so uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video